you are going to type in Amazon KDP. So you're going to go in to this little thing right here. And usually they're going to show you a screen where they're going to show you a little intro video. Um, but I am signed in. Um, you can use um, your regular Amazon account that you have already or that one of your parents might have. And you're going to press create on that button there. I'm going to show you how to set up in one of my already existing ones. So I'm going to press continue setup. But for um, when you're going for the first time to set up your book, you are going to press this big create button. It's going to have you choose all of this and uh, put in your language and your book title and uh, your information about the series. Uh, this is not part of a series. Um, or the second book in a series. This is a standalone, so I don't have to do anything with that. Um, your edition number, if you had a pre-published version of a book, then you would put that it is your second edition number um, with like changes that you made to the book. Uh, but that is, this is my first edition and hopefully my only one, so I don't have to put in any information there. And so then you're going to put in your name here. And then contributors. If you had someone professionally edit it, you could put that in there. Uh, then your definition is going to be in here. Uh, your publishing rights. I mean, and it'll tell you a bunch. And it'll tell you your information here if for if you uh, if it's a public domain or if you own the rights for it. Uh, your primary audience here. And then your minimum age to your maximum age is going to be there. Your primary marketplace. And then your categories. So you can go and I already set up my categories. But you're going to choose, go through a list of categories here. Um, and then you can delete them and then you can redo them. So I could remove all of these but... Um, you can go through and choose uh, which categories you think are most relevant to your book. Then keywords, um, you can go look at the keywords uh, on Amazon right here. They can help you. Amazon is extremely helpful when setting all this up. They make it very easy to understand. So you can pick up to seven keywords. You don't have to put in seven. Uh, it's very helpful because when someone searches a specific genre, that means your book is more likely to come up. Uh, if your book was published before, um, then you could put in that your book was previously published. Um, but uh, this is the first time I published it again, so uh, the publication date and the release date are the same. And then you can schedule your book's release. You can change this until the date that they tell you at the bottom here. They tell you at the bottom. Um, so I can edit mine until November 29th. And the book is releasing on the twenty or the not the twenty fifth, the fifth of December. So then you're gonna save and continue. Well, once you've filled in all that information, if you haven't filled in something that is necessary, then it's going to tell you. All right. So then you can assign yourself a free ISBN. And so I had that done, and it's going to put it on your cover for you, uh, which is really really nice. So then you can. Um, choose uh, which type of uh, print option you want. So I have black and white interior uh, with white paper. So my chapter titles are black and uh, my words are black and then my paper is white. Uh, some of the other options are going to be maybe a little more expensive. And then you choose your trim size, which is what uh, your paper size was that you chose when you were formatting it. Um, so you can go in and select your page size. So as you saw in my Word document, mine, my page sizes were 5 by 8. And so then my trim size is going to be 5 by 8. Um, for bleed settings, bleed is when um, images or words are going off the page. Um, they won't notify you for that because they know that some of your images, if you select bleed, um, are bleeding off the page. And then the paperback finish for your cover. So this... what. This is going to be a lot different if you're doing only an ebook. 
uh, an ebook is completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You just upload it. They'll never send you a bill for anything. Um, but I am doing a paperback, so I have to pay for each individual paperback, whatever fee they tell me, uh, for the paper cost and the cover cost. Um, so my paperback cover finish is matte, so it's smooth and kind of soft, and then you could choose glossy. I have matte chosen here. Okay, so here is where you're going to upload your manuscript. So you're going to press upload, and then you can go through here, and here is my book in its own file over here. Uh, what I found out that I have to do is put it on my desktop, and then it will show up if I have uh, the file on my desktop, because then I can just go into um, desktop, and here it is. Here's my book. And then you'd press upload, but um, I already have my manuscript uploaded. So then you have your cover file. So uh, if you don't know what to do or how to make your cover file, you can go and watch that video. Uh, I have a Canva tutorial on how to make your cover. Um, and make sure when you make your cover that you give it uh, the, that you have downloaded um, Amazon's, when, when you put in your trim sizes, Amazon is going to tell you what format you, or what margin size you need for your cover. So you're going to press upload cover file. You are going to download that from Canva uh, to your desktop. Um, and so if we go to my desktop again, here's my cover. And so you can upload that. And once it is uploaded, you can choose, and it's going to take a while for both of these to upload, so you're going to need some time set aside for that. Um, and then you can select if you used AI generated content. I did not. And then you can launch your previewer, and down here they're going to tell you what it's going to cost per book to print. So it cost me $3.70 per book to print, um, but keep in mind that it is also going to cost you um, a delivery fee to deliver the book to you. So this is a summary of everything that I've chose here. And then I can launch my previewer. All right. So here it is going to show you uh, all your margins and what everything should be inside. So on some of this, it looks like I'm about to go over the edge. But... Uh, I have the proof, and everything was fine on the proof, so that is fine. Um, right here, it's going to tell you if there's anything wrong, like if your book is bleeding over the edge, um, if it's not the right size, it's going to yell at you, um, but it is going to tell you the right size that you should put into Canva when you have to uh, get your cover. So then you can go through and make sure that everything is um, looking nice and formatted here, which uh, it looks to be. And you can download a PDF proof and uh, scroll through that to make sure everything looks great. And then if it does, you can press approve here. And then everything is finished and you can save and continue. All right, so now... You can choose which places you hold the distribution rights. Uh, I own this book everywhere around the world. So uh, I would press that. And then again, your primary marketplace. And then the cost for how much you want your book uh, to be and how much you want your royalty rate to be. And... Um, it's going to tell you how much it costs to print and then how much your royalty is going to be. So at the end, how much money in total you make when they minus how much they're going to take of the book and how much um, the printing cost is going to be. So uh, I priced mine at $16 and uh, when they take away the money that they want and uh, the printing cost, I'm left with about $6. 10 cents less than $6. And then... Uh, I sell this book, um, you can buy this from literally anywhere around the world through Amazon, 
and it's going to convert the following prices into the different currencies around the world. All right, so once everything looks good, you can request a proof. Now you can order up to five copies at a time. Um, so usually I just do one because I'm not sure how uh, the book is going to be, if I'm gonna have the stuff going over the edge, anything. And so they are going to have a not for resale watermark on the cover. Uh, you would see that if you would go to look at unboxing my first proof order. Um, it has the watermark on the cover. Uh, once it is published and you get your first author copy of the published book, then your book is going to not have that watermark and your cover is going to be the beautiful cover you created without any watermarks on it. And then you have to select your marketplace and then submit your request. Um, then it's going to send an email to the email set up with the account and you have to approve that email. So then everything in here is set up and complete and ready to publish whenever you are ready and all your edits are back. <laughs>